Hey, good morning. Ah, oh, look at that. Every day it's sunny here now. I am at a brand new place, not new to me, but new in that I haven't filmed for the channel here yet. And this place is called Major Taylor's Skate Park. There's my board right there. I got the Salba, everybody knows Salba, but I put 92A wheels on it today because Major Taylor Skate Park is really old. Matter of fact, I think it might be the oldest skate park in Indianapolis. Now, I don't know that for sure. Some of you Indiana historians, maybe you can correct me in the comments, but until I hear differently, I'm saying this is the oldest skate park in Indianapolis. And it looks it too, so I'm gonna show it to you in a minute. All right, if you look right there, see it actually says Major Taylor's Skate Park. And this place is pretty wild. Look at that. Let me just walk down this way. Look at that. This is a big place. But look at all that graffiti. Look at that. This is really one of the only places that I've been locally that has any kind of graffiti on it. And it's not too bad looking. The only problem is the paint makes the ramps a little more slippery. So I'm gonna be working on three things today. As always, I'm gonna be dropping in because there are some places here that I haven't dropped in before. So you always wanna be dropping in, keep that fresh. The other thing I wanna work on here is rock to fakies. There are some places here with and without coping to practice that. And then finally, I think I'm gonna try some roll-ins. So I'm gonna warm up a little bit and then we'll start filming some of the fun. Okay, I wanna show you one of the reasons why I put 92A wheels on my skateboard today, and I hope they're actually soft enough because this place is pretty rough. Like if you look at this quarter right here, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but look, it is really rough. I mean, I can actually put my hand in here. And uh, so I'm gonna try the 92s today. I might have to buy a pair of 86s or a pair, a set of 86s. So we got a couple of quarter pipes here. I think that one's probably four and a half to five. And then the taller one right here. Okay, that's not quite as tall as I thought it was. That's that's barely six feet if, if I'm being generous. Okay, so this one's looking pretty rough. Okay, yeah, again, not quite six feet, but it's even rougher than the other one, so I probably won't try that. This thing's freaking scary. Uh, so this is definitely taller than me. So I don't know, that might be that might be about seven foot. Yeah, that would be that would be pretty damn scary because it looks like to me like it's even got a little bit of vert. Look at this. Look how freaking I mean just barely, but oh my god, I haven't done that yet. I'm not at that level and I don't wanna I don't wanna ride to the hospital today. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna start doing some drop-ins right there. Hey, sorry about the traffic noise. This skate park happens to be built right next to a highway, so it's gonna be kind of loud today. All right, honestly, I don't know if I wanna do this or not. Uh, it is pretty steep up there. Like if you come over here, I'm talking about this uh, taller one now. It doesn't have any vert, but it is fairly steep. And it, again, it makes me nervous because it's so rough. I don't want to do it, but part of me feels like I have to do it. You know, I guess we'll see if I'm going to go for it or not when I'm up there. Yeah. I don't know. That makes me nervous. Ah, I feel like I need a lot more pads on. 
you know, helmet, elbow pads, hip pads, maybe a bodysuit. Okay, so this is an interesting spot. It's got very mild transition, but there's no coping on it. So you can kind of practice without the coping first. And there's a couple of different heights here for that. And I'll show you what I mean. So yeah, so you can just do that like, I don't know, 40 or 50 times, and then start pretending there's coping on it and lift the front trucks as you come back. Okay, so I'm standing up on a platform right now, and if you look right here, right there is a pretty aggressive slope. Aggressive enough that you can come flying out of here. You go up this, go over that, go down the other side, and you still have enough to do a kick turn way back here. So for now, I'm just getting used to the feeling of that. But I also have to remember to stay low because I have a tendency, and I don't know if you do as well, that I find myself by default being too upright. Okay, I wanted to give you another angle on this obstacle. Yeah, see that starts to feel really good once you get nice and low. And I would suggest, you know, the thing I mentioned the other day was, when I record myself, when I'm actually doing it, it feels like I'm going a lot faster. And then when I record it and look at it back again, it's like, oh my God, I'm surprised at how slow it actually is. So I would even do something here, like I feel like I'm squatting down pretty good, but I may be more upright than I realize. And so in watching it back again, I can, I can kind of get an idea, okay, well, I need to squat even further down, you know? Well, I think that's all for today, guys. Thank you again for watching. If you want to see more videos, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.